What are we doing today? You've yeah. been talking about it all afternoon. What are we going to be doing now? Owl pellets. Owl pellets. We're going to be looking inside owl pellets. Owl puke. Call it what you like. It's basically the hard, difficult to digest parts of an, an owl's dinner. So it's the fur, the bones, um, bits of shell, the toenails, all those sort of things are all in there. So it's a really exciting thing. It's a great thing to do with the help of a six-year-old. And she loves doing it, so we're going to do it this afternoon. She's been looking, looking forward to this all day. Um, first of all, though, before we get started, um, it's not as bad as it looks, okay? Um, owl pellets are, um, they've been inside an owl, and if they're fresh, they're pretty sterile. However, it's a good idea um, to just, just be careful. Wash your hands after you've touched them. Don't stick them up your nose or swallow them. Um, or stick them in your ears, that sort of thing. Just be just common sense, basically. So we're going to wash our hands afterwards, but right now we're going to get on I'm with it. I'm not even going to touch it. You're not going to touch it? No. Well, why are you here then? I'm to use. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, right. Right, let's talk. It's a very good, good, good point. Right, so what we've got is a tray. We've got our owl pellet. We've got a couple here, but we're going to use one at a time. Um, I've got a magnifying lens. That will come in useful later. Um, we have got uh, some kitchen roll. That's what we put the bones on afterwards. Um, we've got a selection of um, fairly posh tweezers and, and pokey sticks and, and things like that. Now, we've got like tweezers and, and these dissection needles and stuff because it, this is a naturalist household. We've got plenty of these things lying around. You could use... Um, you know, uh, regular tweezers that you might use to pluck your, your eyelashes or, or your mum might use to pluck her eyelashes. Um, cocktail sticks are really handy as well. Anything really that helps you sort of tease and separate the material of the owl pellet. But the first thing we have to do is... Is what? Water! Water. So you put some water in there because first uh, of all... Not me. I don't even know how much. Okay. We put some water in the tray. Right, ready? We'll put that in there and we let it soak. I forgot to tell you about this bit. This is a bit we've got to, be, we've got to leave it now to soak. So um, the best thing to do is uh, go and have a cup of tea after washing your hands, of course, and then come back to it. Right, the owl pellet has uh, soaked for you know, 10, 15 minutes. If you really want to make it really soggy, you can give it a bit longer, but. Uh, we're rather keen here to get on with this. Right, so the first thing to do is to tease apart very gently um, the pellet. Now, all this is just a mass of everything the owl can't digest and all the clues as to what it had for dinner are right here. So immediately I can see that this is fuzzy. It's made of fur, which tells me that I'm gonna be looking out for the bones of small mammals. And uh, you can tell a little bit about what the owls are eating just by the colour of the pellet sometimes. Sometimes the, uh, um, if it's had a small rabbit, the pellet will have a sort of a browny tinge to it. If it's been eating voles, it tends to be very grey. Um, and sometimes if they've been eating, especially if it's a tawny owl's pellet, if sometimes they'll eat a lot of frogs at certain Daddy. times of the year, and then you get really sort of Daddy, compact. Daddy, Daddy. That's all right, there's probably something quite chunky in there. So tease as much of it apart as you can. Already... We can see lots of little bones. So basically, when you start teasing them apart, as soon as you start getting some decent bones, what we'll do, I've probably made the water a little bit deep, but um, what we'll do is I'll move Dad, that round there. Dad, I found a head. You found a head, excellent. All right, well, we're, we know we've got a skull in there because it's a bit crunchy. Oh, don't squash it, don't squash it, be careful. So I can see that's the lower jaw there. So I can see the teeth. So what we'll do, that's the whole head of the animal. So do you want a bit, do you, if I hold down one side, do you want to pull some of the fur off with the other? Be careful not to, don't put your, be, always worried be a sort of a horrible crunching sound at the minute because the, the skulls are incredibly delicate. And um, patience is what this is all about. I think there's another one in here. You think there's another one in there as well? I'll do you want to get on with that one? Okay, I will do one each. Obviously, this takes a lot more can take quite a while to do it properly so um, we probably won't be showing you this in real time um, my wife will probably edit it down a little bit to the highlights because otherwise all you'll get is about an hour's 
worth of film of us just poking around in a tray of grey sludge. But uh, there are some exciting things here. It just might take a little while to unravel them. It's a great way of, um, I guess, having quality time with your kids. Um, and in this case, we've got the whole family at it because my wife's behind the camera. Um, so she's occupied and happy. I'm doing what I like doing, which is picking to pieces an owl pellet. And of course, my daughter's doing it because she enjoys doing it. But think of all the things she's be learning. This is, this is basic detective work going on right here. This is like animal CSI, crime scene investigations. Who's been murdered by the owl last night? There's a big question on everyone's minds, which is where do you get owl pellets? Well, from the owl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, from an owl. So first of all, you've got to find your owl um, and give it a squeeze. No, I want to get some, find you some. Like you need to find where it's basically where it roosts. So that's the sort of place you find owl, owl pellets. Well, underneath the roost, and um, what they do in a moment of, uh, of, of of secretness is they'll just throw up the pellet, they cough it up, okay. and it will fall to the ground. So you need to look on the ground underneath the owl roosts. Now, finding owl roosts, well, that's a whole different skill set together. There are people who will supply them. I believe you can get them from various teaching suppliers online. You can speak very nicely to your local wildlife trust. They may well have some owl expert who can help you out. Someone nearby um, will know where to get owl pellets. Okay, well, we can continue this. Um, for, well, we have, this has taken us a good hour so far, but we could easily carry on um, getting all the details out. But it's pretty good. Look at that. We've got um, a very good idea of what the owl ate last night, or the nights that this pellet was created. They usually pr produce one, one or two pellets a day, so um, that's uh, that's a good representation of that night's hunting by the owl. Now, what do we do? Clean the bones, wipe them slightly. This is um, we make a solution of laundry bleach. Um, I use a nice laundry bleach because it's nice and gentle. Don't use regular bleach. One, um, it's nasty stuff, and two. It, um, it, it's too powerful and it'll dissolve the, uh, it'll weaken the bones and the bones will just crumble away to nothing, so it just turn to dust. So what we'll do now is we'll, um, what are you doing? Oh, I see. Right, we'll just pop. I was cleaning bones. You're cleaning those, were you? Well, that's a good idea. We'll just pop, this, pop the bones. No one knows why we get to do any bone we like. We get to do any bone we like, yeah, just pop them in. Okay, we're pretty much done now. We're going to leave the bones to uh, soak for about an hour in the laundry bleach and then the final stage in this process is to, uh, to stick them all on black card and they look lovely, believe me. So I hope you enjoy your owl pellets as much as we've enjoyed ours. We've enjoyed it, haven't we? But not me, because this one's getting really annoying. <sighs> <laughs> Try to get off.